Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to another episode of Hate Me Grilling Up. This evening, we're going to stay right here in the kitchen. We're going to continue the trend with the smoked sausage. Make a good southern comfort food, one pot meal, and we smoked sausage, potatoes, onion, and squash. Very good recipe, very easy. So let's get started. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a skillet and pour just enough vegetable oil into it that the vegetable oil will cover the entire bottom of the skillet. Now I'm not turning this on just yet. I'm just gonna let it sit. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these three potatoes. They're not real big, right? That's why I went with three. But we're gonna take these three potatoes and I'm gonna leave the skin on them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these things down the middle. Get probably one, two more cuts. And basically we're just gonna cut these up into little small chunks just about about like that all right so we i went ahead and put my potatoes over into the skillet for the time being had still hadn't turned the heat on yet i'm still prepping but now we're going to take one pound of this smoked sausage and we're just going to cut it into little strips about like that and then as i cut them i'm just going to go ahead and toss them over into the skillet as well all right, folks, so I've got everything in here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my burner to a medium heat. And then I'm just gonna start stirring this stuff around. <coughs> let my potatoes, let my smoked sausage, let it all get a little bit of that oil coated onto it. Mix this around pretty good. Now I'm gonna leave the lid off for now until we get up to a, start getting some heat built up. All right, so now I'm gonna take some uh, some George's Cajun Creole seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle me in some seasoning in here. Now this is to taste, to preference, no measurement. Next, I'm gonna come in with some garlic powder. And again, I'm gonna season this to taste, not measurement. Now while we're waiting on our potatoes and our sausage to come to temp, we're gonna take this one onion and we're just gonna start cutting it up. You don't necessarily gotta dice it fine or or, but that's completely up to you and how you want to cut your onion. All right, so I've started dicing my onion, but I went ahead and put that lid on my uh, skillet and I wanna cook that until the potatoes, we're not cooking it until they're done, but until they start to soften up just a little bit. All right, so we got our onion diced up. Now I've got two squash here. We're just gonna cut them into slices now with this squash, it's gonna cook down fast, right? So don't cut it super thin, but you wanna know, just give it a nice little slice here, about like so. All right, so my potatoes have started to soften up, but they're not completely done yet. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the onion and the squash. Just gonna rake them down in there. Then once we have all these ingredients in here, we're just gonna mix these all in together. Get the squash and the onions mixed in with the potatoes and the sausage. And so now we're just cooking this down until our squash, our potatoes and our onion are cooked through. Now periodically, we just wanna check in on these and give everything a good stirring so the contents don't stick to the bottom of the skillet there. All righty folks, so we just took the lid off and this probably been on this medium heat, lid on it off and on, stirring it frequently, but 25 minutes and everything is now done. The potatoes are soft. The squash is good and soft, falling apart. So we're about to pull it off the heat and give it that all important taste test. All righty folks, here we go with that all important taste test and I'm Excited. Mm. Mm. Folks, I know I've made this meal a few times here on the channel, but it is so good, so easy. Just a handful of ingredients, one pot meal, very good. And every time I eat this, man, it takes me back to childhood. Granny would make this, mom would make this, everyone made this dish so good uh and again so easy 
So I think total between prep time and cook time, 45 minutes thereabouts. So this is a good little meal you can add to your rotation uh, for the evenings. Um, very good, very tasty, and again, very easy. Folks, y'all let me know what you think of the video. Y'all please like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.